The service is for Sunday evening, September 20th. Welcome to St. Peter's by the Sea, Narragansett, Rhode Island, online. This is the Reverend Craig Swan, Rector of St. Peter's by the Sea, and I am your officiant this evening. Before we begin our service, we do welcome you to worshiping with us each week through this podcast and online video meditation. If you enjoy this meditation and it is helpful to you, we do ask that you help St. Peter's by considering a monetary donation. Donations can be made through our website, www.stpetersbythesea.com. Now, before we begin our service of Compline, let us take a moment of quiet to allow the Holy Spirit to descend upon us. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The psalm appointed for this evening is Psalm 105, verses 1 through 6, 37 through 45. Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. Sing to him. Sing praises to him. And speak of all his marvelous works. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Search for the Lord and his strength. Continually seek his face. Remember the marvels he has done, his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. O offspring of Abraham his servant, O children of Jacob his chosen, he led us, he led out his people with silver and gold. In all their tribes, there not one that stumbled. Egypt was glad of their going, because they were afraid of them. He spread out a cloud for a covering, and a fire to give light in the night season. They asked, and quails appeared, and he satisfied them with bread from heaven. He opened the rock, and water flowed, so the river ran in the dry places. For God remembered his holy word, and Abraham his servant. So he led forth his people with gladness, his chosen with shouts of joy. He gave his people the lands of the nations, and they took the fruit of others' toil, that they might keep his statutes and observe his laws. Alleluia. This is a reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said, The kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out early in the morning to hire laborers for the vineyard. After agreeing with the laborers for the usual daily wage, he sent them into his vineyard. When he went out about nine o'clock, he saw others standing idle in the marketplace. And he said to them, You also, go into the vineyard and I will pay you whatever is right. So they went. When he went out again about noon and about three o'clock, he did the same. And about five o'clock he went out and found others standing around, and he said to them, Why are you standing here idle all day? They said to him, Because no one has hired us. He said to them, You also go into the vineyard. 
When evening came, the owner of the vineyard said to his manager, Call the laborers and give them their pay, beginning with the last and then going to the first. When those hired about five o'clock came, each of them received the usual daily wage. Now when the first came, they thought they would receive more but each of them also received the usual daily wage. And when they received it, they grumbled against the landowner, saying, These last worked only one hour, and you have made them equal to us who have borne the burden of the day and the scorching heat. But he replied to one of them, Friend, I am doing you no wrong. Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what belongs to you and go. I choose to give to this last the same as I gave to you. Am I not allowed to do what I choose with what belongs to me? Or are you envious because I am generous? So the last will be first, and the first will be last. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. I had the joy of raising two daughters about four years apart. And it was not unusual that at some point during the day, the younger one would scream out, that's not fair. And it was usually because her older sister had received a privilege that she wasn't quite ready for. But I think of young Kaylee's exclaims of constant, that's not fair as I read today's gospel, because certainly for most of us, we would all say the same thing as the laborers who labored all day long. That's not fair. Why do we get paid the same as those who basically toiled but an hour when we had toiled eight, maybe nine hours? But this isn't really a story about a vineyard owner and how he gives wages to his workers. This is a story about God's grace and the fact that no matter who we are, no matter where in our journey of life we come to find God, repent and turn to Christ, the gift is always the same. For God offers only one true gift. That is grace, and that is forgiveness. Whether forgiven for a small sin or for a great sin. Whether one repented at the beginning of their life or in the twilight of their life. The gift is the same. The gift of grace. The gift of forgiveness. The gift of the assurance of eternal life the gift of being able to be one with God. It's not fair. But from God's position, it is fair. For God offers each of us the same gift. And he doesn't offer a half or a quarter of grace, but the whole of grace. For it had been given to us with one act, the act of Christ upon the cross. Amen.
Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord, not to be anxious about earthly things, but to love things heavenly. And even now, while we are placed among things that are passing away, to hold fast to those that shall endure, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night. And give your angels charge over those who sleep, Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous. And all for your love's sake. At this time, I invite your prayers, either silently or aloud, but as we pray together this night, let us also remember those who have been affected by the fires on the West Coast, by the hurricanes within the Gulf of Mexico, by this pandemic. Let us pray for those who suffer at the hands of oppression. And let us pray for this country. May our deep divisions become healed. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and to sleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free, to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Bless us and keep us. Amen.